or to my channel today's video I'm gonna be going and getting a new pet which I am so excited for because I have been wanting this morph and species of amphibian for a really long time and I'm so happy that I'm going to get him today so really quick story time I fell in love with white street frogs probably about a year ago and I started researching them a bunch looking into their morphs and when I found the blue-eyed honey white street frog which is generally a very bright yellow white street frog with blue eyes if they are bred for it they're just stunning in my opinion since yellow is like one of my favorite colors so I'm the type of person that always looks for adoptions or rehoming or rescuing before I go to a breeder and anytime I saw them I wasn't ready and didn't, it just didn't feel right I've been waiting for so long and now about two months ago I rescued my two boys which are both normals and now that they're out of quarantine and they're doing super well in their new enclosure I was like the time is pretty good to look for a honey so recently I was on Craigslist and this guy was selling some higher end white street frog morphs. He's just a local breeder around here and um, I had to email him since he had a blue eyed honey for sale. So he has a few of them for sale and I'm going to go pick one out today. He has a, a couple but I think I know which one I'm getting since he sent photos of them. They're just so cute because it is only two to three months old so frogs can cannibalize one another if they are very different sizes and my boys are like one and a half years old. They are full grown males so he will have to live on his own for a while he'll be up here for roughly about a month or two in quarantine and then once he doesn't you know he's all healthy and I know he's good he'll move downstairs in his 12 by 12 by 18 for a few more months until he's a similar size to them have his whole setup ready I just have to bring it upstairs because I decorated it all downstairs so I'm gonna bring this quarantine tank up and then we're gonna go ahead and go get him which I'm so excited for so that is what this video is about I have his name picked out already but I'm not gonna tell you guys till the end of the video let's go get my new baby <laughs> ah okay so it has been a few hours since I filmed the intro you just saw we're leaving right now to go get the new froggy his quarantine tank is all set To the quarantine tank. My shoe is not coming off. <laughs> to the quarantine tank, yay! As you can see, this is going to be a very large enclosure for him, but um, if he shows any signs of stress or seems like it's too big, I will move him to a five gallon. So my hands are completely cleaned off and have water on them. So we'll open this up. Hi, baby. It's okay. Can I pick you up? No, we can't have an escape frog. <laughs> Here he is. He is precious. Look at that face. He is so cute. Okay, come here. Come here. Come on. Oh my gosh, you're so... Enclosure. Here you go, bud. Get in there. We'll put you up there. Get in there. Good morning, it is now the next morning, which is why my voice sounds really groggy. I just woke up like 30 minutes ago. But I'm gonna run downstairs and grab the five gallon tank because this one is just too big. Like, look at him, if maybe I got two or they were, he was just a little bigger, I will probably put him back in here eventually. But I'm gonna grab the five gallon for now because this is an 11 gallon and it's just way too big for him. Okay, I've successfully made it back with the tank. Here is the tank. So I'm gonna obviously turn it vertical. It perfectly locks, so don't worry. This size is just gonna be so much better because it's just probably really stressful not pick up a cage. This is gonna be so much better of a size. It's just so much more manageable and comfortable for him. So I'm now going to just grab his deli container that he's been dying to get out of because he doesn't want to be in it. As you can just see, him compared 
this little guy compared to this is not as big now, so. So here he is. As you can just see, he has he looks so much more comfortable in there with way less space. Um, for right now, again, he will eventually probably go into there, and then he'll go eventually again with my other fragments. I'm not entirely sure if I announced his name yet, but I did name him Bottom, and there's kind of a story behind it. It's just kind of a funny name, and when I got my two frogs, I was considering naming them somehow Apple Bottom and Jeans, but I was like, I don't have three frogs, and I don't know if I want to name one like Apple Bottom or like Bottom Jeans. So I was talking about this with my friend, and then my friend was like, you would seriously name a frog Bottom. And I was just like, yeah, I, it, that's such a funny name. Like, I would name a frog Bottom any day. And then ever since I wanted a honey, and then this started happening, I was like, I'll probably name it Bottom. Like, it's just perfect. So his name's Bottom, which is kind of fitting because he was the one at the bottom of the container when I picked him out. So I'm pretty sure he's a honey. I was doing my research. I don't think he's a snowflake. I believe he'll be a honey. I guess time can only tell. So thank you again so much for 760 subscribers, and I will see you guys next time. I love you so much. Stay awesome. Bye, guys.